Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Japanese Mathematical Olympiad Final round 2019, problem number 3 We wish to find all functions f from the set of positive real numbers into, into itself satisfying this functional equation f of f of y over f of x plus 1 plus f of x equals f of x plus y over x plus 1 for all positive numbers x and y It's a Beautiful functional equation from Japan. Here are my hints. Notice first, since the range of our function is a subset of positive real numbers, it must be the case, you should justify it, that f of x plus y over x plus 1 is greater than f of x. And from there, you should establish this, this crucial fact that if the values of that two arguments are the same, then these two arguments might, must be uh, distant from each other by less than one, or equal one. It's the crucial observation. And then you should show that our function is injective in the following way. Suppose that f of y equals f of z for some positive numbers y and z, and show that this is the case that for every x greater than zero the absolute value of y minus z over x is less than or equal one which can only mean that y equals z because it holds for every positive x and after showing injectivity set x to be y then set x to be two and use injectivity to find the explicit formula of our function and also do the verification in the var variant so give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. All right. So let's take a look. Let's call our equation asterisk. Well, notice, first note, note that f of f of y over f of x plus 1 is greater than 0. Why is that? Because our function goes to positive real numbers so so f of x is definitely less than f of x plus y over x plus one for every real numbers positive real numbers x and y all right but notice that this number y can be as small as we wish which means that for every real number x, for every x greater than 0, and maybe let's write an epsilon greater than 0, f of x is less than f of x plus 1 plus epsilon. Which means, and this is very useful, that for every two real numbers, positive real numbers, if the values of f, x, f, f of x equals f of y, then the distance between these two numbers must be less than or equal 1. It's very, this condition is truly crucial. And I will call this condition, uh, I don't know what I will call it, a triangle, green triangle. And let's talk through this condition. Why is the case? Well, because, think about it, if this is not the case so for example if x minus y is greater than one so x is greater than one y plus one then this holds yes this holds uh, and we don't have equality the same is true if we have uh, if we have y minus x less than greater than one we also get contradiction with this condition. So if the values are the same, the arguments must be distant uh, one or less from each other. Very well. And now, suppose now, we will establish injectivity now. Suppose, suppose now that f of y equals f of z for some positive real numbers y and z. Then, 
we will use our very first function equation. Because remember that f of f of y over f of x plus 1 plus f of x equals f of y, sorry, or f of x plus 1, y over x plus 1. But since f of y equals f of z, this can be replaced by this and in turn this can be replaced by f of x plus z over x plus 1. So we are using our very first functional equation twice in these places and in the middle we are using the fact that f of y equals f of z. All right. So that means, notice that that means that f of this argument, f of this argument equals f of that argument. Since, since x plus z over x plus 1 equals x plus y over x plus 1, by our condition triangle, we have the following. These two arguments must differ by at most one most one. So x plus z over x plus 1 minus x plus y over x plus 1, they differ by at most 1. Or putting it the other way, uh, z minus y in the absolute value over x must be less than or equal 1. And remember that y and z are fixed, but x is arbitrary. X is arbitrary. So that holds for every positive number x. But now x can be as little as we wish. As little as we wish. So this, if the numerator is not zero, the left hand side can be as big as we wish. So that can only be true when y equals z. And that means we have established injectivity. We have established that f is injective. Crucial property. And now let's maybe let's recall our functional equation. I will write it here for the not to go back too much. So our functional equation asterisk says that this equals f of x plus y over x plus 1 and now I will set something. I'll start with setting x to be y in our condition asterisk. Then then we have the following. On the left hand side we have f of 2 plus f of x equals f of x plus 2. And now let's set something different. Let's set now x to be 2. Again in our condition asterisk. In our condition asterisk. And then we will have the following. f of f of y over f of 2 plus 1 plus f of 2 equals equals what exactly equals f of x sorry but x is uh, x is 2 so we have y over 2 plus 2 plus 1 All right, all right. And now what I wish to do, I wish to take this equation. Let's mark this equation which we got here, maybe by square. By condition square, using condition square, this, here we have f of something plus 2, and f of something plus 2 can be replaced by f of 2 plus f of that something. 
And now we have we can cancel f of 2 on both sides and we get the following and we get the following f of f of y or f of 2 plus 1 equals f of y over 2 plus 1 and now it's time to use injectivity using injectivity of f we can cancel f on both sides and we'll get f of y over f of 2 plus 1 equals y over 2 plus 1 very well and that means that means that we have our explicit formula for f of y f of y equals f of 2 over 2 times y i.e i.e f of y is a linear function for some constant a obviously greater than zero because our function goes from the positive real numbers into itself and now what we have to do now is to do verification. Let's do verification. Left hand side. On the left hand side we have f of f of y over f of x plus 1. That is f of ax over, sorry, ay, or maybe a times ay over ax plus 1, which is a ay over x plus a. And on the right hand side, we have also, sorry, something is missing. Uh, there was also plus f of x on the left hand side. So we have this plus ax this this plus ax now it's right and on the right hand side we have f of x plus y over x plus 1 which is ax plus a y over x plus a and this is exactly the same so in fact every function every linear function for any positive constant a satisfies our functional equation. So let's write the solutions the solutions of our equation are linear functions f of x equals a times x where a is any positive constant whatsoever. And that closes our problem. Truly a beautiful functional equation. It was a bit unusual because the way of showing injectivity was not not so obvious. But it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.